Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Wahoo in the boat, baby! Look at that kingfish right there. I mean, you talk about epic fishing days. Yeah! Nice bulldog right there. It's another beautiful morning in the Florida Keys. On the agenda today, we're gonna head out to the Patch Reefs and I'm gonna show you a little new trick technique that I figured out. We're gonna troll a yellowtail jig. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. On the boat with me today, I got my oldest of four children. The one, the only, the fish slayer, Avi. All right, so it's just after daybreak. We're heading offshore early. Gonna see if we can catch that early morning bite and uh, you know, figure life out from there. You know what that means. We'll see you out on the water. All right, folks, so we headed out of Key Largo today, the north end of Key Largo, we're on the Patry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try something that we have never tried before, and we're going to try trolling just a yellowtail jig. See if we can get into the hookup. So, we're going to fire up the boat, see if we can go and find some fish. So what we're fishing with is this, little snapper spinner, Penn Battle 5000, spooled with 20 pound braid and about 50 feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon. And now we're on the reef. So we've got about eight inches of wire leader on our yellowtail jig, which is an eight ounce yellowtail jig. And we've hooked it up with a tandem trailer hook. Without further ado, let's see if we can uh, find a bite. And again, it's a little bit of experimentation, a little bit of fun. We've never done this before. Let's see what happens. Trolling totally a spinner is always easy. You just pitch it out, come back, start dragging your line, let it out about 50, 75 feet, and then we will uh, we'll see what happens. That quick, we're up and trolling. See if uh, anybody wants to latch onto this thing. Yeah, we're in kind of stormy conditions, overcast. Not exactly, uh, you know, the best fishing conditions, but we'll see. You never know. Kind of got to troll over the uh, these ledges of some reef right here. See if anybody's swimming around right on the edge between the sand and the coral. Try and get hooked up. And we're already hooked up. And he came back. Here we go, big guy. Come on. Get on him. Get on him. There we go. Hooked up. Let me, let me tighten that drag. There you go. Pull back. Reel on the way down. We got Avi on our first fish. Uh, that didn't take long at all. I mean, we we're up and trolling for less than a. Oh! Pull back, big guy. You still there? Pull back. Rail on the way down. Oh, and it looks like we got a little barracuda. First fish on the yellowtail jig with no bait. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, we are over. That's dinner. Woohoo! All right, put your, put, put your uh, rod down, big guy. Good job. There we go. So I guess that answers the question whether or not the yellowtail jig without anything on it just being trolled by itself will catch anything. The answer is yes. We got dinner. Look at that. Nice little barracuda. Perfect eating size. We're going to throw that lure back in and keep at it. You just witnessed it. It is nothing but a yellowtail jig. There's no bait on it. No nothing. Simple trolling. Dinner in the bucket. All right, super exciting. 
less than, you know, a minute, two minutes trolling. Something experimental. Something we've never done. That's always good that it works. All right. So we are going to get back to it, get back on our ledge. Again, you don't got to lay down along the line. 75 feet is more than enough. All right. back up patrolling again we got sand over here we got coral over here trolling along this coral line just as if we were uh, you know following a weed line way offshore little barracuda like what we just caught are perfect eating size so I mean man I'm happy right now yeah, we just got hooked up again you ready big guy ready. all right there he goes get him up there we go Pull back, hold on, let me tighten that drag. Oh, pull back, reel down. There you go, keep them on, keep them tight. There we go. Obviously, trolling just the yellow tail jig is working. It's worth its weight in gold. We're on our second fish in less than, you know, I don't know, less than 10 minutes, I would say, but less than five. Oh, look at him peeling out that line, there he goes. You gotta love that, man. We got Abby going. We're gonna turn into his fish a little bit. Get him, get this fish kicked out this way. So we're gonna turn the boat that way a little bit. Keep Abby tight. You having fun, big guy? Pull back, reel down. There we go. As they say, keep them scallywags, keeping that line tight. That's for all you pirates out there. So I want you to notice as Abby's reeling in, and he's not whipping up and down the line real quick. It's finesse. There you go, there you go. He's coming out back here. Gonna be a nice barracuda again. Over this way, big guy. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Let him go, let him go, let him run, let him run. That's good. Right down there. Look at this barracuda. All right. Oh, that's a good barracuda. Oh boy, look at that guy. Man, that's a good barracuda right there. All right, barracuda back in the water. No sense of keeping that guy. All right, so as you can see, trolling nothing much more than a yellowtail jig on some wire leader is definitely working. Big barracuda, little barracuda, it don't matter. So we're going to get right back at it and uh, see if we can, uh, you know, keep proving how this works. This seems to be very effective, you know, almost as effective as a clerk spoon. So we're going to get up to speed, pitch our lure back out, and uh, see what we can make more magic happen. It's very surprisingly unexpected and uh, you know it's always great when you figure something out. fish i love it when those hookups happen it, it it never gets old pull back reel on the way down pull back reel on the way down there we go got abby retrieving his fish like a professional pull back 
reel on the way down. There you go. That is the most effective way to retrieve your fish is to pull back and reel, wind on the way down. Got you something big guy. Here we go. Here comes a fish. And let's see if we're looking like another little barracuda at dinner time. This is dinner cuda. This is perfect. All right. That's a dinner cuda right there. Woohoo! All right, put your fish down. Put your rod down, big guy. And looks like we got some more dinner in the boat. Like I said, nothing but a yellowtail jig. Super successful so far. All right, excellent. So we got a couple of dinner-sized kudos going on. Nothing like some, some barracuda tacos or, you know, you can fish dip them out. You can throw them on the grill. Whatever it is you want. some good old-fashioned fishing fun. Now, as you can see, we were using nothing more than this to troll, a simple double-hooked yellowtail jig. And it's on about eight to 10 inches of 40-pound wire leader. This is actually the one that we were using. It's all kinked up from all the barracudas we were hitting. And this is the setup that we were using when you saw us trolling. It's a little snapper spinner, had some fun. This is a Penn Battle 5000, spooled with 12 pound braid and it's got about 50 60 feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon on it we've got a little solid ring here to connect our leader to our wire leader which is 40 pound test and a little eight ounce chartreuse colored yellowtail jig and it's got a double hook tandem setup just to ensure the you know we don't have any missed strikes so the cool thing is we were saying hey let's go try something new something we haven't done and uh, we'd let the results speak for themselves and quite clearly it was successful. We had never done this before and we were taking a risk, but hey, it worked out in our favor and we had a great time. Fish Slayer was, you know, putting a hurting on those kudos. So we were on the patch reefs in about 15 to 20 feet of water, right on the deep edge of the patch reefs where it planes off into sand to head into the reef. And we were sort of trolling along the coral line like you would a weed line out deep hunting for mahi or tuna or wahoo. We were trolling at about five knots, which is a little bit more than six miles an hour. So you're trolling this little tiny lure. You don't want to go too fast because the faster you go, the more it diminishes the size of your lure. So if you're going to try this tactic, just bear that in mind. You know, you want to troll, you want the fish to 
chase down the lure. You're going after hunting fish, but you don't want to go so fast that it just zips on by without them even seeing nothing but bubbles. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit about how to, you know, get away from the everyday thing that you're always doing, try something new, reach out, troll a yellowtail jig. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.